Uh, I'm Andrew Lancy and I'm here in Haxby with Julian and Nigel uh, and we're here to show that we're going to be supporting the NHS, backing it and also making sure that it really responds to the needs of patients, listens to patients and gives more responsibility to the frontline professionals who we trust in the National Health Service. We know the NHS is vital um, for people in their lives. We also know that it's been overwhelmed with bureaucracy and tick box targets and we are going to give power back to the patients and the frontline professionals to deliver the service that people need. Clearly there's good evidence about some, the effectiveness of some treatments. <laughs> Clearly there is also, um, through NICE, they are saying we are not sure about the evidence in relation to other treatments. But actually the who should be interpreting that? And you can see from my point of view, I want you as patients to feel that you are properly involved in deciding what is the right and most effective treatment for you. And your GPs should be able to make decisions about what treatment they are looking for you to receive as patients using the NHS <coughs> budget which they have collectively control of locally. Your primary care trust um, spends, I think it's about £24 a head on its administration. It actually only spends £16 a head on its public health budget. You know, these are, some of these are the uh, wrong priorities, what we've got to do. Likewise, you know, in, in Yorkshire and Humberside, la even the last year alone there was an 11% increase in the number of managers. Yes. Yeah. Over the last 10 years, we've seen a 63% increase in the number of administrators in the NHS, only a 27% increase in the number of nurses. So we've really got to make sure those resources get to the front line, and these priorities are about delivering services to patients, not about building the bureaucracy. My name's Julie Fleming, and this is Jill Clark. Uh, we're from the Pain Management Support Group. We'd just like to thank Julian and Nigel for arranging this meeting today. It's been excellent. We think Andrew will be a great uh, Minister for Health, and um, it's, uh, it's been very informative um, and helpful meeting. If he puts the proposals in that um, he was talking about, I think it will help a lot of people in pain because at the moment everybody is suffering and um, there's just nothing at all. And if he gets rid of the PCTs and puts it in the GPs hands, hopefully that will help and people will get the injections that they need. So here we are in Haxby, we've just had a fantastic meeting here in the, in the local church hall where we've invited residents to come and meet our Shadow Secretary of State, Andrew Lansley, to talk about local health issues for the area. As I say, we had a great turnout. We had members from the York and District Pain Management team here to discuss the problems with the Primary Care Trust, t cutting back on, on lower back pain injections, which is having a huge impact on people, on patients, on their family and on carers. It's an issue we really have to get to grips with and tackle. Not only that, we talked about uh, care for the elderly, residential care, there was a number of health issues that were covered. Andrew really was um, an inspiration to them all. It's great to see our health, Shadow Health Secretary here in Haxby, putting health back on the, as one of the main issues on the Conservative Party agenda. It really is an issue that affects us all. Um, yeah.